Welcome back one and all to Trails of Cold Steel. I am the Dark Seraph. Last time I did some busy work and killed a monster. I did some crafting off camera because it's kind of boring to watch one guy just mash buttons endlessly. I'm kind of curious about the nature <sighs> part. I wonder where we are. Uh, maybe... It says, Lunaria Nature Park. Let's go check it out. We're here. Are they closed? There's Military Guard Station. Okay. They're just doing their job. I'm actually a little curious. What happens if I turn the quest in as somebody else? I didn't mean to go here. So nothing changes. I don't think anyway. already have that. Thank you. 
Yeah, we should return to the end, but... There's no real rush. Don't give crap. One paid. Market. This direction. Don't give me that crap. This is my spot. I paid for it, so it's mine. I'm the one who paid for this spot. Look, I've got the permit. Here, stop lying to me and vamoose. All this over a market stall. That's enough! It's probably just a mix-up. Like, clearly very mature. Both of you just use the same frickin' stall, it's clearly large enough. Wonderful, a flood warning in my town. Live near a river, so... yeah. That's nice of him. We appreciate your consideration. Merchandise and temperaments don't lend themselves to sharing a space. <laughs> okay. Complicated. Yes, yeah, monarchies suck. Absolutely. I absolutely agree with Laura here. Taxation is theft. It is a necessary evil. Keep it slow, though. Keep it small. Otherwise, it's just going to piss everyone off.
I agree. Conventional lords have the duty and the right to decide upon and collect taxes in the regions they control. That's why monarchies are bad! Means of rule should not be hereditary. Should be decided among a vote among the people in a kind of like a republic. Sarah. Adios, be with you. Oh, Adios be with you, excuse me. I'm guessing Adios is their god. And I can go shopping in the market. Ingredients. A wee discount. Okay. Sure. Okay, haggle with them. Okay. Full price, so 20% is off. 20% off is the max you should go. So fresh goods can be sold as 50% as much as half off, but processed only 20. Got it. Process 20, fresh half. Something tells me putting the cute girl with the bunny ears would get drive more customers. Twenty five. 
wine that is processed. Nine. How about sure? Cabbages. Uh, four for fifty six. Uh, About five. Oh, wait. About five for fifty. Ten for ten. That's. There you get. A sale going. Her father runs a company. A bracelet. That was fun. Yeah, you sell ingredients. Drugstore. Uh. Don't think I need anything there. More produce. Sure, I'll buy one. Toys! Accessories! Some honey. Honey is very healthy. A lighter, a stone brooch.
Was delicious. Those were some seriously fresh vegetables, too. We're in a farm market. Yeah, nothing beats food made from local ingredients. Nothing does, especially if you're actually capable of cooking. I quite enjoyed the rye bread myself. I suppose this whole field study thing isn't so bad when you take the menu into account. I wonder what the others in Group B are doing right now. I wonder if I'm gonna find Somehow, out. Somehow I doubt they're sitting around a table and talking like we are. That would certainly be a shock if they were. I can't help but question what exactly Class 7's purpose is, though. Instructor Sarah says it's about Arcus, but I don't think that's the only reason we've been brought together. I'm certain it's not. If that were all, today's field study tasks would serve little purpose. It seems as though she's trying to make us experience... I don't know... Things. Like all kinds of things, big and small. The power of friendship! What I can't wrap my head around, though, is why. Yeah. Instead of trying to put everything in its place, why don't you just go with the flow for a change? It seems like you're desperately trying to find something. But if you don't plant yourself somewhere, you're just gonna blow away with the next big gust that comes along. What do we have to offer one another, when our reasons for enrolling at Thor's in the first place are undoubtedly very different? Our... reasons? I hadn't considered that. My reason for enrolling was quite simple. I aim to come ever closer to my goal. Or, rather, to the person whom I regard as such. Who's that? <laughs> This is neither the time nor the place to discuss such matters. Best to save that topic for another day. What about you, Elisa? Why did you enroll at the Academy? Hmm... There's no one single reason, but I think I just wanted to assert my independence. I mean, my situation back at home isn't exactly ideal, and this seemed like a good way to get out and do more, I guess. I see. Hmm, it sounds like I'm probably in the minority then. See, I wasn't intending on coming here at all originally. I wanted to do something completely different. You did? Oh yeah, you said you were really hoping you'd get into a music academy, right? Oh? <laughs> well, I wasn't that serious about it or anything. He's a bard. What about you, Reen? You're the last holdout, and since you're the one who brought it up, it's only fair you answer the question, too. Fair enough. Me? Hmm. I wanted to find myself, I guess. Find yourself? Huh? <laughs> Sorry. That makes it sound like a much bigger deal than it actually is. That's the best way I can think of to put it, though. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. Going on a journey of self-discovery? It's actually a pretty cool answer. Yeah, I had no idea you were such a romanticist. You sure don't come across as one. <sighs> I shouldn't have said anything. But we're not actually going to sleep yet, are we? Not until we write our reports for the day. I want to shut off my brain so badly right now, but it doesn't look like that's happening anytime soon. <laughs> she seems to have forgotten all about the room situation, and I'm not about to remind her. Think before you speak. Reen? Hmm? What is it? 
I was unsure whether to ask or not, but I've decided that this question bears answering. Why have you chosen to hold back? What? Your sword style and technique. It is the Eight Leaves One Blade School, is it not? Hmm. Popularized by the Sword Hermit, Yun Kafai, it combines the best elements of other Eastern sword styles. Those who master any of its forms are referred to as a divine blade, and are said to understand the true nature of all things. Okay, if this is anything to do with Japanese lore, I have no frickin' clue what it is. You certainly know an awful lot about it. I didn't think it was particularly renowned here in the Empire. We of the Arsade School consider the studying of other swordsmanship styles to be an essential part of our training. In addition, my father once told me, if you follow the path of the sword, it is only a matter of time before you encounter a follower of the Eight Leaves. Your father said that? <laughs> it's an honor to be acknowledged by the Radiant Blade Master himself. <laughs> I'm nothing special, though. I'm just a dropout who's never even been able to progress past beginner level. I did train under Master Ka Fai for a while, but I started to feel like I couldn't go any further with my abilities, and he cut my training short. What? So I'm really not holding back. Honest. I actually kind of feel like I'm dirtying the good name of the Eight Leaf School, in fact. But this is my limit. I'm sorry I can't quite live up to your expectations. You're not telling me everything. <sighs> Laura? You have no reason to apologize to me. This is a matter you must come to terms with on your own. Though I'll admit to some disappointment, I was hoping you'd prove to be a good sparring partner. I... I'm going to practice outside for a bit. Please go and finish your report with Elisa and Elliot. There's a lot he doesn't want to talk about, huh? I can see in his eyes sometimes that he's bottling something up and trying really hard to keep anyone else from noticing. You've noticed it too? <laughs> you sure have taken quite an interest in him. I, I was just trying to work out the best time to apologize, that's all. It's not like I've been consciously paying attention to him or anything, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> Reen's not the only one bottling up his feelings though, is he? You've been doing the same thing. I... Yeah, I guess I have. Ooh, you're moving up in the world. <laughs> I've got a little reward here for you. Keep up the good work. I'm gonna end the episode here in just a minute. More field study stuff. More busy work. West, a, a monster on the West Keldic Highway. A stone br on the stone bridge leading to West Celtic Highway. And a lost wallet. Okay. And this ceramics lady. We're doing that next time. I know these are mandated. I guess that'd be kind of a dick move to put you on a time limit and have mandatory requirements.
Simple is not a bad thing. Big trouble. What's going on? Oh my god! Well, I'm gonna be doing that next time. Join me then on Trails of Cold Steel as I do some more busy work around town and investigate what happened at the market. But until then, I am the Dark Seraph, signing off.